Uh, are we even live or we just talking? No, we are live. We are live. <laughs> Here's live. the thing. You know what it is? You know what it is? You 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 want to you want to fight on air. That's what you want to do. So why don't we do this, man? Folks, we were talking about this yeah, Amazon so situation, it. right? And then off air, we kind of got sidetracked with a uh, conversation uh, regarding uh, child support. Uh, Ms. Shea uh, made a statement that, you know, for the most part, she doesn't think that men have any rights, you know, when it comes to the child support, the custody, that situation. And I disagree. Um, you know, uh, my thoughts is that. Me too. Know, I disagree. My thoughts is if you got your shit together as a man, right? And there's a couple of boxes that got to be checked when you get in front of this, you know, this judge. Some boxes got to be checked to make sure you satisfy what you need to satisfy for him to make the decision for you to have your custody. I don't see why a judge wouldn't do that. You're giving me situations of guys who may be great fathers, but don't have all of the box checked. They don't satisfy everything. And because of that, the, 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 for them to be able to get, you know, joint custody, full custody, or visitation, or whatever, the process is taking longer, right, than it should. And I agree with that. But You're if hoping they... that you have a cooperative daughter's mother when you go into court and all your boxes are checked. Is you that go. what you're saying? No. What I'm saying is if a judge requires a father to have certain, to meet certain criteria, you got to have a place, uh, a stable place to live. You got to have a, 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 a room for the child, their own room, right? You got to have, you know, some income, right? You got to have, you know, food, you know, a way to take care of this child when they come to your house, right? If those are the things that judges are looking for before they make the decision on granting you um, custody, that's what I'm talking about. And any man, I think that any man, say again? Do you think it's just that simple? You just walk in a court and say, hey, all my boxes are checked. And so why don't I just get custody of my child? Here's the you thing. Really if, think here's the thing. If it's not that easy. You tell me of a situation where a man has his all his shit together and he's having the problems. When you in, off, off air, off air, we discussed about a situation with someone who didn't have all their boxes checked. You well, I can discuss many situations where, and I've, I've actually had individuals. See, here's my thing, um, G. I think that the way women, and, and, and I'm a woman, obviously, and I'm a woman with four children. I think that a lot of mindsets, women use the children as a pawn to get back at the man when the relationship is over, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, when you go into court, what ends up coming up in court, even though all of your boxes are checked, is things that happen in the relationship that will preclude you from getting what you need right away. Mm -hmm. So if you think in your head that you're going to walk into court, right, and just say, hey, all of my boxes are checked, and you have a disgruntled daughter's child's mother, whomever, right, and that everything is going to be awarded to you because all of your boxes are checked, you're misunderstanding. That's no different than taking someone that has an education and putting them in front of a judge and saying, hey, look at me. Look at this grandiose thing that I have going on and thinking that I'm going to get what I want. It's not reality. 